So we got our battery and we've got our mysterious message that says the clues are in my stuff and has pictures of her stuff. So there was this purple incense-y thing, which looks like the first one. Let's inspect it. <laughs> like me, my uh, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a hidden message under the counter. It says, I'm with blank, blank, blank. Okay. So that was one item. It's like a cone with a couple of legs. It's like a little star. It's probably like one item per room or something. There we go. Sorry. What an odd thing to have an apartment. I kind of thought so earlier, but I wasn't going to judge Clementine. Is this the way companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left here. It says blank, 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 come to blank. Okay. You found something. Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? No, I just wanted to mess with the computer. Wait a minute. Is that, was it a lava lamp? No. She's got a lava lamp though. I don't think this is it either. You found something. Mm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? No, I'm not. This is cool up here, man. What a cool apartment, huh? This might be it. Bingo, there's a message that says Blazer, blank, 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 blank. So I'm with Blazer, come to the, whatever the last thing is. Uh, let's take a look at that picture again. Uh, we've got the incense thing. That must be the rock thing. We, so we need to find a lava lamp, I guess, with stars. There's been a bunch of lava lamps in here. And this looks like a lava lamp, kind of, but not with stars. I mean, it looks like a lava lamp, clearly. Take a nap on this little cushion? Oh man. Yeah. Get rested. Okay. Let's go, little buddy. We got work to do. I know, we're all tired. Me too. nothing here. No, I'm not sure. Definitely not sure. I have no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. 
Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice this message here. It reads, blah, 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 nightclub. I'm with Blazer, come to the nightclub. You got it. Well done, Lieutenant Cash. Now let's go find her, we don't have much time. I, I agree. I, actually, I don't really know what our time constraints are, to be honest. I'm so glad I didn't have to. No! I'm just gonna run forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I don't wanna be lasered. Please describe to me the profile of the thief. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, I gotta go, guys. It wasn't me, that much is for sure. It's not for you. Go away. Uh, I'm not really trying to bribe you so much as... Danger. Groove levels at 2%. Gotta find a dancing spot immediately. Dude, fix those groove levels, yo. I hate this club. It's full of posers, but at least there's no sentinels here. Or sentinels here. Yeah, posers are lame, dude. They're totally like... And there's this guy. Just keeps walking around. I wonder if there's a way to get into the club from back here. Groove levels at 2%. Hey, who's up there? Howdy, partner. Why don't you come over here so I can get a good look at you? Um, uh, that's a weird thing to say to a stranger. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, hey, buddy. You have no business here, unless you want your legs replaced by something more fancy, which you don't, so get lost. Wow. I don't want that. Surgery, it says. Whoa, hello. I work hard to clean the streets, only for others to mess it up again. Anyway, that's how the world works. Show sure beats doing homework. Alright, let's see. B12's just chilling in his little B12 charging garage. You guys are at the club, but the guy won't let me into the club. But he hasn't told me what I need. He just said it's not for me. Like, I'm not permitted. I like all these monitors up here. That's pretty rad. <laughs> Hat store. Well, would you look at this? Oh, well, that's not. <laughs> that is. I thought that was going to break me into the club, but it just put me back out on the street. Hello, I don't have anything in your size. Sorry. Eh, that's fair. No, I don't know why I would want that knocked open like that. I can already get in here, you know?
Hmm, okay. Bumping into club. So that's probably... I mean, we gotta do something out here in the alley, I assume. To get in there. Or we gotta distract that bouncer somehow by causing a disturbance. Hey, do we know this person? How do I get up there? A lot of stuff that it looks like I could jump onto, but I can't. Here we go. Yo. Let's go talk to this crazy purple cowboy person. Hello! My name is Clyde. Except for I am Max. Why are you not letting me talk to you? There we go. Late killer. Wonderful. Look at this little cutie. That was the whole... That was it, huh? Is that just to lure me up here so that I could figure out that I could do this? That's probably what it is. That's your whole purpose as an NPC. Hey, how'd you get up here? Well, I just... I mean, you watched the whole time. You want to party with us? I do, Alex. I want to party... with you guys. Oh, we're dancing in the club. All right. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate you. Design your spot. Classic cat. Enjoying yourself, little one? Yes, I am. Dude, people are getting up to get down in here. Check it out. Alright, we got the bartender. Some dancing robots. Cool. We got, <laughs> we got, uh, DJs with helmets on, because that's the thing these days. Very daft punk. Okay, but my friends are supposed to be here, and I don't see them. Did I just miss them in the crowd? Are they obviously out there? Doesn't look like it. Wait a minute. You guys want to spin this record for me? Hey, DJ Matsy here. Let's get this party started! Okay. My very questionable friend, Blazer. Everybody make some noise. These are just like holograms of Roboids. This dance is pretty much Clyde's level of dancing right there. That's pretty legit. Shoot, dudes, I don't know what to do next. This has been happening a lot today. Okay. There's no more up I need to go. There is a lower floor. Is it just a hallway I've obviously missed or something?
Maybe I just need to talk to more people. extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer <laughs> he's the one programming the holograms in his spare time oh, that's cool no wonder he's so busy you like my mask i love your mask i think it's fantastic bit oh it jams the sentinels scans and it looks cool i need some technology like that this club sucks when I tried to go to that stupid VIP room, problem solved, I think we figured it out, they kicked me out. Me, can you believe it? So I stole this lever just for kicks. If you get me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it and don't want to be caught with it. it seems like I'm gonna need that leather, lever. Yeah, sorry bud. Hey customer, to access the VIP, uh, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. It has been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Aha, we're up there. Great, but I need a drink. Those are takeable. I feel like you should have to get the drink from the bartender, right? Wait a minute. Take strange drink. Perfect. What's up, Frip? Ooh, thanks, my friend. Here you go. As promised, a lever handle. Thanks, bro. All right, let's go see if we can figure out where this lever handle goes. If that's the VIP balcony, maybe there's a lever over here. Oh, we got some, are these elevators? Yeah. have formed their own culture with their own idea of dope music where does this lever handle go it's got to be over here somewhere right i mean i guess maybe not but it seemed like perhaps that was a relatively logical place for it. It's not up on stage, is it? That would be really strange. Oh, there's a giant lever up here. guys this is it we did it come on daft punk guy acid cat to anybody who's watched the good place hmm this doesn't really Hasn't really put me in a place where I feel uh, 
like this helps me very much. <laughs> Is the other side better? Then why would I... Hmm. That was the side that already had a handle. Maybe the side with missing handle is the interesting one. Of course, now I gotta wait for him to go turn off turn on the other one. Oh yeah, that'll go over to another platform. Okay. Come on, DJ Matsy. Flip the switch. Here we go. Ooh, there's like a cool lights control room and stuff. these are doing. Oh, is it, it's lowering and raising those lights? Okay, let's bear that in mind. like that will give us a path all the way over there Ooh, maybe not oh that was the wrong one other end other end okay let's flip that switch Looks like maybe that'll get me all the way there. Let's find out. Okay, so Blazer has left. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain about them so much. Because of our freedoms, probably. I assume. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is she tied up? Blazer. You were, I was told you were suspicious. Two birds with one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Buisness is buisness. <laughs> Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. Oh man. 420 Blazer over here is a real piece of work. They're all yours. Oh no. What? Did they just laze me? Game over? That can't be like a, that's gotta be a, we knocked out the cat lazing. It'll be fine. I just got an achievement called Owl Catch Traz. Oh my gosh, the intermission timer? Did I never start it? I didn't even start it, did I? Oh no. Okay, well hang on. Or has it actually been an hour? How long have I been streaming? No, it has not been an hour. I'm gonna say that we probably were like a half hour into it.
I don't have my backpack anymore. That object which I hated so much when I first got it, but I've grown to appreciate. Oh, you can't be serious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a picture of the outside? It looks like it's flickering. That's, that appears to be fake. I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll check it out. No, 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 no. Last time that happened, everything was, everything was real bad. if there's anything special over there. Jail. I can't swing the camera around for this, which is kind of annoying. I'd like to look around. I like how I broke out of prison, like, immediately. Like, well, this will not do. We are leaving. It simply will not do. Okay. Alright, Max, where are we going next? That's where I just came in from. Okay. So we come in here, we got some buttons. I can't push any buttons or manipulate any systems anymore because I don't have B12. Can I just jump through that little door? Oh no. This poor person. Well, that's not great. building reminds me of the facility on Half-Life where right after you're walking along that coastline in Half-Life 2, it might be in one of the episodes, you're moving up this beach. If you swim too far out on the beach, you get eaten by leeches until you die. But there's like this prison complex that you go fight in. Man, I should play that game again. That game's good. Uh, but this reminds me a lot of those environments. Obviously, it's it's different, and certainly the graphics are better than that game, which is now 15 years old or more. So maybe we don't go that way.
That was dangerous. Get out of here. <laughs> Are you just gonna stay here in yellow mode? Get out of here. He's wigging out. <laughs> That is an aggressive scan you're doing. Oh no. Dude, they ripped his head off, man. I don't think you're supposed to be like that. That seems... Too much. Is that broken? <laughs> this looks kind of broken. feel like this goes anywhere. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I see. You gotta climb down there. No, 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 no. We're going up, buddy. We're going up to the next level. There you go. And again. Sweet for roboids. All right, we're looking. Good. Oh my goodness, it's Clementine! It's Clementine! Dude, you do not want them to disassemble you. No disassemble. I can't understand her anymore because I don't have. Uh, I don't have B12. It's funny, this whole place, even in Midtown, like it's overgrown by these plants and things. The outside is trying to break in. It's trying to be here. You know, I, I know they modified some plants and stuff, but I, I choose to believe my own little narrative there, which is maybe BS, but like, these plants are trying to happen, and we're still denying the fact that there's an outside or that it's safe, you know? Got him. What do we say? Life will find a way, right? What's his name from? There you go, Clem. Let's get out of here. That was the easy part, just so you know. This broken robot down here that's freaking out. Oh yeah, she's got keys to like all the doors now, narratively. At least up until it becomes a problem for the story. I love the idea that they imprisoned me as a cat. That shows 
how much of a threat they feel I was, I guess. It's hilarious. I guess I was causing trouble for their organization. Oh no! It's B12. Clementine. You can't just leave them. They're important to us. Let's go get them. This is that level where they take your weapons away, you know? Thanks a lot, video games. Am I not allowed to pass her? I'm not. I have to stay behind her. Alright, Clem, you got this. Ooh, shoot. Those laser blastoids. Let's see, get up on the pipe. Oh, I can just jump through right there. Okay, I'll do that. Through these weird high school windows. This was just a way for me to see what was coming up next. Okay. How far do these red lasers go? Up to this yellow marker? Not even quite. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was so alarming for just a moment. There's a Scantron over there that I want to wait and see. There he is. So we've unlocked B12. They're 
already in hyper alert mode. Great. Stakes are high, everyone. Oh boy. Okay. No, 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 no! Get off me, robots. Oh, shoot. Go, 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 go. There needn't be any hesitation, Max. No. Off the damn chair. Let's go, buddy. Ooh. Oh, dude. So glad I wasn't without B12 for long. B12, are you okay? You don't have your little B12 garage. Oh yeah, you do, okay, cool. I felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again, all alone, but you came back for me. I can't believe it. You are a good friend. Yes, I am. I'm so glad we're all together again, but we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Can you just open the door just there? Can you open that door just there? Let's give it a try. Prison break. through a tiny window or something. I'm real small, that's kind of my major selling point here. <laughs> yeah, throw a brick through that window. Mm-hmm. Listen, you've committed worse crimes today. Clement, <laughs> Clementine? Why did you break a window way up there? You gonna boost me? You are gonna boost me. All right. I'm always making it as hard as possible on me, but it is dramatic. All right, Clem, let's go. I keep thinking of Clementine from the Walking Dead uh, Telltale game, which was great as well. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe our first idea isn't our best idea, Clementine. You know, you ever think of that? Sometimes it's okay to come up with a second idea. Let's take a look in here. So you want me to go and get myself maybe lasered to cat death. Okay, let me play with this. So I kind of know how it works. They're small too. They could just fly out of there. Okay, fine. How many sentinels are we talking about? Is it just the one? <gasps> Who's this person? Pablo, did you see the guy on the ground over there? He was rebooted. I don't want to lose my memory. I'm so scared. Oh, Pablo, it's... Didn't we learn about a Pablo? Didn't somebody say they knew a Pablo earlier? I bet you they did. 
All right, here we go. Oh gosh, don't laze me. Don't laze me, bro. <laughs> Perfect. That was actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be much worse than that. We have to help Pablo. Where is he? No, we're not going to help Pablo. Adios, Pablo. Um, when we break out, it'll be better, probably. Oh, geez, that's a cop. A memory. Oh, yes, we need to grab more memories. I think I'm going to have missed a bunch of these. This poor fellow. It seems the Sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. That's what I feared. They have completely erased him. No more emotions, no more self-awareness, no more memories. Please, let's not get caught. Again, you mean? We have been caught many times. And we were recently imprisoned. Oh, am I supposed to do the prison cell trick again? I don't like that this is one cell. I need to grab that uh, robot guy and the Scantron at the same time. I don't know what the robot guy is going to... Oh, there's more than one Scantron? Oh, come on. Get over yourselves. So maybe the doors were set up correctly. So I'm going to get the robot guy to chase me. Then we'll sweep through the first Scantron guy over there, and then the other one. We'll catch that guy as we go in. This is the plan. Oh, he's a cop. Or he's not a cop. I thought he was a cop. Uh, or, uh, what do they call him? I only have 758 years left and then I'm free again. Capone. Oh no! Ah. Well, that was way too ag aggressive. So I think I want the doors set up the other way. Crap. Okay. Well, at least I know that guy's not a problem. No, this door has to be open because that's the one I'm going to lead them through. This one needs to be closed because then I can just run through the bottom. Because I can, right? Yeah, okay.
This sucks. Okay, let's let that guy calm down again. Figure out which one he is. And then we'll try to lure him in. What's the one doing that's inside now? Shoot. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Are they trapped now? Clementine seems to think so. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo. Let's go. Who's that guy? Is that Pablo? Are you gonna rat on us, Pablo? I feel like you're gonna rat on us. <laughs> Well done locking up that Senadol. We gotta take the power back. You just told me you didn't want to get involved. You said 758 years and you're out of this dump. All right. Well, it looks, looks like I'm getting an army of the oppressed. Wait a minute, was that another person over here? Who, who are you? Lupin. What you did, that was funny. Okay, that guy's lost his marbles. Um, I don't know if we need him on our team. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna leave them behind. Perfect. This game is just about the Zerks. This door. It's the only way out of this jail. I mean, we came in a different way, but okay. Clementine, I think you know what's going on. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to access that room, though. Let's look around. Remember the bricks? They worked pretty darn well. Or you could just loft me up over this little fence. Meow. <laughs> and meow. Let's see, okay. We're just taking a look at our assets here. What's this? Is she gonna drive the tuk-tuk into the wall? <laughs> Oh, there's keys in it. I didn't even see those. We left the keys in the door. Now hop in the back of the truck. You should be able to jump over the fence once we access the secure area. Hmm. Yep, I'm familiar with your plan. I mean, but you could also have just held me up. I don't know. I, I like that we used the tuk tuk. That is exciting. But, uh, feels a little, a little forced. <laughs> I do think it's a good part of this puzzle, though. These little waving cats everywhere. Door is opening. What the? Shoot. What is happening? Why is this my fate? To get lazed to death by a flipping robot? Oh my lord. Get me out of here. Uh, Clementine, was your plan to just leave me to fight all the robots on my own? Hmm. 
I think that was her plan. Jeez. A lot of loyalty among thieves, I guess. <laughs> She's racing through the city. Like a crazy robot. Wait, wait, what? I can distract him for a little while, but you have to go. Okay, never mind. Clementine's a real hero. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. Aww. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get outside, but one of us has to. Oh my gosh, this is the real bing bong moment. Oh, you're killing me. Now go. I'll keep you in my ram, little outside. Oh, jeez, Clementine. Aw. Okay. I mean, I like Clementine. Zabaltazar was kind of a weirdo and didn't really, you know, endear himself to me. And Momo is kind of useless, but Clementine. Doc? Doc literally got stuck like 400 yards from his house. <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm not impressed by any of those people, but Clementine's a real hero. Okay, so I'm in here. That looks sort of like a little sign here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, we are out of time. We should be going to intermission right now. So now that we're back at the subway, I think this is a good time to maybe do it. Uh, I, I gotta feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, though. I think we should just press on. You guys want to press on? I can't really see what you're saying. So I'm just going to do it. There we go. Put the power cell in here. Welcome to Nico Corporation. Now we've got green lights on the power cable. We have juiced up the electricidad. Let's go. Because, you know, take subway. Yep. That's the one. I mean, what happens if I get back home? Do we just leave these robot people in turmoil? Sure, I'm back hanging out with Robert and Calico and Elaine, but... But then what? Does Capone have to serve out the rest of his sentence? 758 years or whatever? I need a big button I can smash that opens the whole dome up. Enjoy the world's safest city. This guy's shiny. This is Top Town over here. Hello, how may I help you? Please head to the leisure area if you'd like to purchase or consume any goods. Have a nice day. All right, thank you, helper.
World City or Walled City 99. How many of these cities are there? <laughs> Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This totally reminds me of wool. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet, wet paint. Have a nice day. Are we just letting those guys live down the rot down there in Trash City while you guys do this? City has been sealed. It says city sealed. Greetings, inhabitant of Wild City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Thank you, helper. All we have are these helper droids, man. Helper 19. Hello, how may I help you? This is like Wally -E up in here. For thousands of years, these guys have. These tables are dope. I should build some like that, too. Gigantic slab. Oh, what? Is that like Midtown over there? My current task is clean the window. Please refer to any certified engineer in the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Wow. So that's like the right, oh, that's cool. That's like where I took the radio transmitter. This looks like it's Midtown. And now we're even higher than that. And look how close we are to the ceiling. The rings of lights that we've been seeing this entire game. That's fantastic. What a, just a, what a really cool world. And these guys really understood what it was when they were putting it together. Okay. Uh, attention, certified engineer, we want out. Look at this gigantic door. Okay, the control room is what this section is called. And here it is. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. Agreed. Oops. Very clean up here. It says why, but nothing happens. It looks like it's kind of grayed out. I have seen actions grayed out before, like when B12 wouldn't work with me. Uh, when he was like, I need a moment. Then uh, I wasn't able to use a very human style fire alarm. <laughs> I wasn't able to use his uh, abilities to talk to people. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. Well, there's a control panel there, but for some reason I'm not allowed to interact with it. Can we get up there? Can we climb? Let me make sure that this isn't like... Yeah, it seems like it's not letting me talk. That is the Y button. We're doing everything correctly. Hmm, okay. Okay, that was weird. I guess I just had to interact with this panel again. Oh, I see. You need to be doing that, and I need to be doing the other thing. All right. Uh, nope. Still doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello, little friend. I didn't even see you there. Oh, it's you. What are you so happy about? I get you turned off. We did. No, hang on. <laughs> Screw you in your computer's control room. This is definitely a safe way to gain access. Apparently I didn't get them scratched enough. Okay. Well that fooled the human scanners. Don't love being trapped in here. This feels very culmination-y. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here, and it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. Little good it did them. The plague. I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. But I can still help you. We can still go outside. Together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people that I loved. That's five big orange memories. Look at all those memories I must have missed. All the blue ones. Ah. So if robots aren't allowed in here, I guess eventually the control room people must have gone back to their residences and died there. Or to hospitals or whatever. Control room, man. What a what a name too, especially given the the different ways in which these groups of people we've met have behaved and been been controlled. Its narrative isn't particularly strong there, but there might be there's there's a lot of implication, even if they haven't come out and said a lot of things. Let's go look at this sign on the wall.
This is it, the main computer. Cell powered up. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system. Sure. Send the cat to turn everything on. Oh, it's as easy as waking him up. <laughs> well, that's fun. I love these uh, kind of like brightly colored keycaps they have on these old keyboards. They're pretty rad. It worked. Good job, my friend. No problem. You need me to get rid of a screensaver, wake up a computer from sleep mode? I got you. I found it. I now know how, I know how to open the city. But something's off here. Wait. Maybe there's a way around it. Meep zorp. Deedly boop. Roof control station. System is locked. There. That's the workstation to open the city. But there are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines, and you destroy some stuff. I think that... That... You know, you might be minimizing my contributions to our little adventure here, B12. So you're hacking the machine, and I need to destroy some stuff? Alright, I'm gonna give you guys a... Uh... Nice, adorable picture of the cat, and I've got to use the restroom real quick. I will be right back. Sorry about my delay. <clears throat> but I want to be able to enjoy the rest of this game, and I had to pee. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to destroy some things, but I don't really know what. I just, I feel like destroying these systems might be a little sus. That thing needs a battery. So does that thing. 
Ah, uh, I see. Maybe I need to steal some batteries from some things and plug them in there and there and there. I see, here's some just general destruction. This just seems like a bad idea if I'm trying to use this system to affect a change. Ooh, hey, that one's working. Okay, so there must be like a little panel and there's a little hacking that needs done. The system is taking more than I expected. Ooh, security. Okay. This is a little um, nerve wracking. I can recharge once we open up that workstation. Dude, I'm worried about you, man. Please don't make me worry about you. This last one doesn't seem to have like an interactable Thing. Maybe I just pull this plug? No. I'm trying to jump on this one, but it's like, okay, there we go. Don't overwork yourself, B12. We've been through this whole thing together. There's no, no! Come on, man. No. It's okay, I'll be all right. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable the alarm. Little dude's straining himself. That's it, we're safe. I don't know, man. Are you okay? Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into that first computer and the consequences that it could bring. Come on, man. I didn't think I cared about B12 that much, but I kind of do. More than that, I care about the fact that so many people wanted to see the outside and they're, they're all gonna fail to achieve their goal. But, what, does Max get to go back and, and we know this continues in here? Like, how's this gonna resolve? I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions and you. 
Here, let me take that off you. You were my friend, the very the very best that I could have asked for. Thank you. There's no way Max understands. I mean, he does, because somehow B12 can talk to him. But there's no way he'll ever really get it. He's like that raccoon that washed that candy floss in the river and it disappeared. Door opening. What if we're wrong, you know? Oh my gosh. And the Zerks are sensitive to light? Maybe this will help with this plague. Of little scuttlebutt turds. Yeah, waste them. It's Momo. I guess Momo gets to be outside now. Because now this is outside. There's the guardian. I'm glad Clementine didn't get destroyed. So the controller's just vibing. There's no buttons that it tells me to hit, but I think if I hit a button, Max will get up. So there's the roof. It's still sort of opening. Yeah, look at it go. It's still opening layer upon layer, like little segments. I hit some buttons. Max did not wake up, but he did meow, which was adorable. Is that painted to look like clouds underneath? <laughs> oh man, I feel like there's plenty for us to chat about. Maybe we should have done an uh, intermission, but I, I don't know really what to say necessarily but certainly more to discuss at some point oh I can't pick him up I thought it was going to let me pick him up I want to take B12 with me even if B12's not in there anymore That's my human sensibility where I'm... I'm keeping some nostalgia for this object. Which was never B12, it was just a vessel that he was in, you know? But to walk away from it is... difficult. Sort of. So the slums, Midtown, and the control room. I'm 
Jeez, it's like a giant silo. How do I get out of here? So where was, where was I when I fell in? Like, this is an incredible height. I have no idea. Okay, well, let's go. I don't need, like, where do you go now as a cat? when you're trying to get to wherever your cat family was. What are these droids going to be doing? Are they still just going to be like pruning plants and completely blissfully unaware that the world has gone to hell? Oh, I can't talk to him anymore because I don't have my backpack. Like, that's another thing. Like, without B12, I... I'm just a house cat again, or in this case, a feral cat. This is the door to the outside. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, wow. So overgrown, and there's like just a little bit of light up there. This is a beautiful scene. This is cool. Oh man, that's rad. Birds? Wait, 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 wait. Seems like they flew after. I would definitely have been distracted by wanting to eat those birds. Let's be real. Map <laughs> down. He's Bobcat. Sorry, I'm kind of ruining the moment. He looks back longingly at Sealed City 99. How dare you end that right there? Oh, man. I never know if I find my cat family, which honestly, I don't know how you could possibly have find them. I don't know how you could have possibly done the adventure we just went through. B12's gone. We never learned B12's real name. Hmm. Um, yeah, shoot. Well, let's go over to uh, intermission here and we'll talk about... Uh, do you think there's like a post credits scene? I bet you there isn't, but I'd feel like a real yutz if we moved away. Here's what I'll do. I can keep this rolling. It's no problem, but we'll still transition over to uh, intermission so we can chat about it. I'll watch it. If anything cool happens, we'll go back. What do you guys think? Uh, you did, Mick. Hopefully you didn't uh, spoil too much of it. I mean, it'll all wind up on YouTube eventually. Um, but how are you doing, man? <laughs> Angel says, yay. Jailbreak iPhone, future jailbreak cats.
Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. That sounds good. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I got to edit today's stuff and throw it up there. But this is pretty lightweight to edit. So cool. Well, nice to have you stop by just the same. It was cool. Um, it was good. It's worth playing, worth watching, maybe worth both. Hey, RBW Alex, how are you doing? I don't know if you're still here. Um, Gusto Vasiri, hello. Uh, I did not have chat available to me earlier, guys, so um, I didn't have, uh, I didn't see these messages, but if you're still around, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, what's up with the Zerk's eye, though? <laughs> right? Oh, my goodness. Well, what do you guys think? Was, uh, was that? I don't know if I think it was satisfying or not. I think it was good, but I don't think it's not fully satisfying because like not everything good happened. I mean, good things happened for Momo. Good things happened for Doc and Seamus. We brought them back together. The Zerks have been wiped out. That's a good thing. Outside is now available. Humans are gone. And in this story, there's not a way to bring them back. And with B12, the idea of being human is now gone too. And I suppose the idea there is that maybe we don't need that to progress. We've got a new society with their own art, their own music, their own language, their own whatever. We kind of learned about little snippets of that throughout the whole game. And that's what's going to progress or whatever. Heavy, D, Heavy McD, how you doing, man? Welcome. I don't really know that I have much to say other than that's the end of Stray. There was nothing at the end of the credits. Um, it just played through and came back to the title screen. But um, shoot, man, what a game. That was fun. That was worth playing. And it's about the right length for me, you know, much longer than that. And I'm not going to be able to stick with it. These games can be so long. There's a sequel theory going on that B12 is still alive and the bugs are still there, like the, the Zerks or whatever are still around. I think there's a lot of ways you could take that story from here. What if some of the, I mean, what, what are the security bots going to do, right? The door was opened. The, the, the roof was opened. Like, are the security bots, do they have a protocol where they stop oppressing the people, you know? <laughs> or do they not care and they still think it's dangerous and now there's an emergency and we've got we've to crack down on that. Excuse me. And deal with, with all of that. What the heck, man? I don't know. Um, I think there's a lot of ways this story could go. I would be shocked if they did not do a straight two. This game was so wildly popular, at least for a short time. I have to assume that they made decent money <laughs> on their uh, investment and everything. So, hey, photos. I am awake. It's just I've been, I was up late and up early. Right? Yeah, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. Maybe B12 is still in the system somewhere, trapped, lost his memories or her memories again. Um, who knows? I don't know. Uh, there's there's a lot that could happen here as we kind of think about where this story could go. Um, well, thanks for watching Stray with me and spending time with me, guys. I didn't know if this would be uh, as enjoyable as it was, but it was quite good. And uh, I hope you guys had a good time watching it with me as well. With that, guys, I am going to punch out. I streamed longer than I was planning to today because I knew we could finish the game. Um, if you're just joining us and you missed out on everything, we just finished Stray. You can watch all of it on my YouTube channel. I've got the first five hours of play up there right now in five separate episodes, and I'll be editing today's stuff in there as well. So thanks a ton for being a part of the show, and we will catch you guys in the future. Thanks so much.